Hi everyone, Ramesh here. In this video, we're going to learn supplier functional interface. As we know that functional interface is an interface which has only one abstract method and we can use a lambda expression to implement a functional interface. And supplier is an inbuilt functional interface which is introduced in Java 8 and we'll use lambda expression to implement supplier functional interface. So look at here, supplier interface is a generic interface. We can pass a type here but supplier interface provides a get method it doesn't take any argument and it returns a result okay we basically use supplier function interface to return something but it doesn't take any argument all right let's learn more about supplier function interface with an example so let me quickly create a class here let's name it as supplier demo so as usual we will start with the very basic so let's first see the traditional way implementation of supplier interface and here i will just pass local date time so i'm going to use supplier to just get a local date time okay and here we need to override get method all right and here uh, what i will do i will just return local date time current local date time okay and next what we will do we will create a man method and we we'll create object of supplier interface right like this demo and then we will call get method so this will get a local date time so i'm going to put a sys out here to print the result great so look at here get method returns a local date time but it doesn't take any argument okay so let's run the program so look at here this is the local you know current date time now what we will do let's use a lambda expression to implement supplier functional interface so how to do it so first what we'll do we'll use anonymous implementation of supplier interface and then we'll replace with the lambda expression it's pretty simple so what we'll do we'll just uh, return local date time here and we can remove this code because we are using uh, anonymous implementation of supplier interface all right let's run the program look at here the result okay now it's easy for us to you know replace this anonymous class implementation with lambda expression okay so as we know that lambda expression is an anonymous function which don't have any name so let's go ahead and let's remove this part and here what we'll do we'll provide arrow so this is the syntax of lambda expression okay so look at here this is the lambda expression now we can run the program and we can see the same result so lambda expression contains only one statement even we can also remove this curly braces and also remove the return statement okay so look at here how the lambda expression looks like now run the program again and let us see the result so this is how we use supplier map interface to supply the current local date time okay so basically use supplier whenever you want to supply some data to the other methods so here uh, i am just supplying local date time okay that is current local date time to the main method let us see one more example so look at here we have product class with id name and price so what we'll do we'll create a list of products and we supply list of products to the other methods okay what we'll do we'll use a supplier interface to supply a list of products okay so let us see how to do it let's create a supplier and let's pass a list of products okay and let's call it as supplier2 or let's call it as a product supplier
okay and let's use a lambda expression here and let's create a list of products so look at here i have our list of products here product 1 product 2 product 3 up to product 8 so these are the list of products and here i need to return the list of product all right so these are the dummy products whenever you want uh, dump some dummy products then you can just call this product supplier and you can get this list of products so how to get the list of products that i'm going to show here so what we'll do we'll let's just print out this product list so just get this product supplier object and then call get method so you can get the list of products like this so let's run the program and you can see the output so these are the list of products so we can optimize this code so what we'll do we'll create a separate method to get a list of products so what i will do i will create a separate method to supply these products okay so let's create a private static method and let's call this method as product supplier so this method supplies list of products so let me copy this paste it here and here just return product supplier okay and here we need to call this method yeah that's it so look at here this method supplies list of products to the main method so whenever you want a list of products then you can just call this product supplier then you will able to get a list of products okay so this is how we use supplier to supply list of products here so let's run the program and let's see the output so look at here this is a list of products okay so this is how we use supplier functional interface to supply some data remember supplier functional interface doesn't take any argument but it returns some result all right i hope you understood the usage of supplier functional interface and subscribe to my youtube channel whenever i will publish such videos you will get notified thanks for watching i will see you in the next video